The Pulse School on realairculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers, DuPont Vertison Fungicide, and Nodulator XL. That was work that was done a couple years ago by uh, Dr. Steve Shirtliff and one of his graduate students, uh, Leah Fedoric. And so the critical weed-free period of a crop is uh, the time, the duration that the crop has to remain weed-free in order that yields aren't impacted. So uh, if weeds are controlled uh, too early, uh, they, they may have not accumulated enough biomass to cause any uh, competition, or if you control them too late, uh, the competitiveness may uh, already have taken place and you get a yield reduction. So the study they looked at uh, a few years ago was in Clearfield lentils and they looked at uh, in terms of timing and uh, found that the uh, critical weed free period was between uh, the 5 and 10 node stage of lentils that it had to remain relatively uh, weed free during uh, those, uh, that stage of development. Uh, so they recommend that the um, application of the herbicides, uh, the group two herbicides, uh, clear field herbicides in uh, a clear field lentil take place around the five node stage and uh, for optimum uh, weed control. Uh, you can go a little earlier because most of these herbicides uh, are residual and uh, will control late flushing weeds. So you don't want to go too late, like I mentioned, or you can cause some injury. Uh, or you can, uh, like I said, if you go too late, you would uh, you'd also uh, uh, reduce the uh, effectiveness of the weed control. So uh, that's basically in a nutshell what they found from their research. Well, uh, there's a number of different things, like I said. Uh, it, they also have to look at their whole system. And so uh, m most pulse crops are pretty poor competitors. So, uh, you know, in the years that you're not growing pulses, you certainly want to grow something that's relatively competitive and something that you can uh, clean up weeds uh, before you go into pulses. Uh, so if you've got perennial weeds, I mean, you, you want to be using a crop that you're growing a crop that you can maybe use pre-harvest glyphosate in uh, to get rid of your cannabis thistle because they're really almost impossible to control in pulse crops. Um, uh, you know doing a good job of seeding ensuring a, a good plant uh, stand uh, making sure that they're using you know optimum plant populations. This study here is actually shows the uh, is a different shows different seeding rates and you can see uh, some of these plant populations, uh, the higher ones are going to be much more competitive with weeds than uh, some of the lower plant populations. Um, uh, timing of application, uh, their herbicide application uh, is very critical, get it when the weeds are small and actively growing. So those are the key things I, I think growers uh, have to look at. Uh, it, uh, it, I think if I, my biggest advice to growers when it comes to managing weeds as pulses in pulse crops or any crops is planning ahead and you know you might be planning uh, not only for this year's crop but even thinking ahead uh, two or three years down the line. Well that's been a, an issue for uh, for the growers. Uh, we have registrations in terms of glyphosate as pre-harvest and lentils, but um, the MRLs or the maximum residue limits have not uh, been globally accepted, uh, particularly in Europe, and that's being uh, worked on right now. And so we're hoping uh, that there's going to be a resolution by fall. And uh, I think when it comes to uh, the time that growers are looking at their pre-harvest applications that they need to talk to their uh, supplier and say uh, has it been cleared have the MRLs been accepted uh, before they go ahead and start using glyphosate uh, so I know the uh, Pulse Canada has worked very diligently to try to get this issue resolved but until then growers uh, 
uh, better check with their suppliers or, or the companies to, to see if these MRLs have been uh, established and accepted for use. Well, again, if it's if the uh, if the companies if the importing companies haven't established their their MRLs, then I of course the your growers shouldn't be using uh, you know glyphosate as a pre-harvest treatment. If it is accepted, and uh, the last indications I had was that it was going to be by fall, then uh, then they can go ahead. But uh, I think it's just a matter of. Um, checking with people, even checking the internet and uh, or with the Saskatchewan pulse growers to see what the status of the uh, uh, maximum residue limits are. Uh, the only true desiccant uh, available, well there's actually uh, more than Reglon. Uh, there is uh, AIM uh, that can be used in some pulses, not lentils. Uh, so that's cl clean start, uh, but you'd have to, uh, in some cases, you're going to be tank mixing that with, uh, uh, with glyphosate. So um, uh, glyphosate is really, a, uh, does some dry down, but it's uh, mainly for pre-harvest uh, weed control. But we also do have AIM and, uh, and Reglone are the other two uh, desiccants. But like I mentioned, AIM isn't uh, registered in all pulses for, for uh, dry down.